Are you ready to go to explore a city between enchanting temples, friendly locals, bars, and top-class food? Today we're getting to Asia. This can be a useful mini-guide if you decide to spend 36 hours in Siem Reap, Cambodia. Nowadays, Siem Reap is one of the most visited places in Southeast Asia for the sake of its amazing sights and history. Fascinating night markets, local hospitality, delicious cuisine, and affordable prices. Before diving in, please smash the like button, subscribe, and leave a comment. Although most of travelers and backpackers head to Siem Reap, mainly to see the UNESCO World Heritage Site of Angkor Wat, this place has much more to offer with its history dating all the way back to the year 802. How can I get to Siem Reap? Getting to Siem Reap is quick and easy if you are staying in Thailand, Laos, Vietnam, or Cambodia itself. The cheapest way is to travel overland, but you can also fly. For example, there are daily flights from Hanoi and Bangkok to Siem Reap, which cost around $30, $80. How can I get around the city? As Siem Reap is a very small town, you can easily walk everywhere, saving your money on transportation. If not, take a tuk-tuk, which is not only cheap, single ride prices start from one, but it is also a great experience and a lot of fun. Unlike Phnom Penh, a lot of the drivers know English. For such active people like me, I would recommend renting a bike and cycle around the town, with a possibility of renting one from $1 to $5 a day, depending on a type and quality. They don't cost a fortune and there are so much fun. Siem Reap is packed with cheap hostels and hotels, so you can easily find something once you get there. What and where should I eat? When it comes to food, Siem Reap can never be a challenge for those traveling on a tight budget. You can enjoy delicious, light and healthy meals without spending much money and the town is filled up with affordable coffee shops, local restaurants where you can find good value for money. I would highly recommend visiting Five Sons restaurant owned by an amazing Khmer family. You can easily find it on the street which immediately where Pub Street ends, down the road from X Bar on the left. When it comes to buying food in Siem Reap, there is one simple rule. The further away you go, the less expensive it gets and the more variety you can choose from. What should I see and do in Siem Reap? If you like visiting floating villages, you can go on one or two day trip to Kompong Pluk, where you can sit in your boat passing by treetops, floating pig pens, locals paddling to local stores for provisions, fish drying in the sun and other idyllic village scenery. If you like parties, you can't miss the famous pub street from where you can buy refreshing fruit cocktails, cheap beers and other alcoholic drinks as well as ice cream and a lot of different desserts. When in Siem Reap, you should also watch a traditional Apsara dance at Angkor Village Hotel's Apsara Theater, take on a Khmer cooking class and get a fishy foot massage for only one hour. Have you been to Siem Reap? If so, what was your first impression? If you like this content, please subscribe. And if you like my content, please do not forget to buy me a coffee. Link in description. Happy trips.